Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and the subject of today's video is the unloader regulator valve. Unloader regulator valve is standard equipment on, on all of our jetters, and certainly on many, many, many jetters throughout the market. Uh, there's a right way and a wrong way to adjust it, but uh, first we'll get into what its purpose is, and then we'll get into proper means of adjusting your unloader valve. So what is an unloader valve? Well, it's really, it's three things. Uh, number one, it's a pressure regulator, which we'll talk about when you adjust the knob, tighten or loosen, you adjust pressure, of course. And um, it is also a safety relief valve. So if your nozzle plugs up and there's nowhere for the water to go, um, or if you've got a small nozzle on or a mini hose nozzle, and it can't allow the full, this is a nine gallon minute machine as an example, but can't allow the full nine gallons minute to get out the nozzle, it's going to relieve and allow some of that water to go through this port, which is a bypass port, back to the source, like a water tank. So how does this unloader regulator valve actually work to regulate pressure in a high pressure jetting system? Well, again, let's pretend that this finger coming in is water coming in from my pump. It goes through the unloader valve and it leaves the unloader valve to go out to the hose reel and it finally to the nozzle. Okay, if we're running at full pressure and if our machine is designed right and if our nozzles are drilled properly with the right orifices, then pretty much all the water that passes through this is going to go out the nozzle. Um, as I back off the regulator, let's just say I was starting at 4,000 PSI. As I back the regulator off and reduce tension on this spring, I will basically allow some water to come out this bypass hole instead of going to the nozzle. Now, as we've talked about before, resistance in a jetting system creates pressure. So as I back off the spring tension, I'm reducing resistance. Now, it's important to realize the pump is still pumping its full volume, like this is a nine gallon a minute machine. If I'm running full throttle, it's running nine gallons a minute. If I have my regulator tension down to full pressure, it's gonna force all that water out the nozzle. But if I back off, what does it do with that water? Well, it bypasses some of it. So let's just pretend this bypass hose was hooked up. As I back off my pressure to say like 3000 PSI, it's gonna take some of that nine gallons a minute and send it back to the water tank that I'm drawing from. This is our 50 gallon Brute toolbox water tank. And we'll demonstrate this as I back off on the regulator on the panel of this jetter you'll see more and more water dumping back into the tank as my pressure reduces. As I crank the pressure back up, you'll see that flow go lower and lower and lower till it's almost a trickle as I'm forcing all that water back out the nozzle, which is bringing my pressure back up. Okay, so now you may be asking, well, I'm not sure on my machine if I have an unloader valve or just a regulator or even just a relief valve. Um, number one, if you have a Jetters Northwest machine, you definitely have an unloader valve on them. We build all of them like that. Uh, if you're not certain, you can certainly contact us. You can text us a picture, email us a picture. And we'll help identify for you. Um, if your machine does not have a valve at all, if it has just a safety burst disc, uh, then none of this really applies. But the good news is almost all those machines can be retrofitted for an unloader valve. So you have this adjustability. All right, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching and get jetting.